Chapter 12 minus 19. I was hiding on the roof of a building while I was using a binoculars to monitor both Kenneth, his fiance, and Lancer. It seems that in this timeline Sula UI did not force Kenneth to hand her the seals of the orders. In fact, the Kenneth case was not so bad. In exchange consider that his magic circuits were destroyed and he had to rely on a wheelchair, but Lancer was constantly monitoring him to ensure his safety. However, this is changing now. Berserker, kill him. I told my berserker, Lancelot, and in response to my orders, the black angry servant formed next to me, and after screaming in anger, he jumped from the building to the balcony where they were. Before he reached them, Lancer discovered him, carried his master and Sula UI and saved them from the building, and by a side jump he put them on the ground safely. Berserker exported the building to his body, which destroyed the wall. Fortunately, the building did not fall, however, Berserker immediately jumped behind Lancer. Only now, I realized that Lancer had landed near a public park full of civilians, if Berserker fought there, it would be a massacre, no, it would be genocide. Berserker, change the combat zone. I said to him through the channel of mental communication between us, but he did not respond to me, damn, have his instincts overcome him now. With the power of the command seal, Berserker, Lancelot, must drag Lancer into a human-free zone without harming any civilians. I have six seals, using one of them will not be a big loss. I removed the glove from my left hand, then, the tattoo glowed in my hand before his sexture disappeared. Returning to the battlefield, I saw that Lancelot ignored Lancer's attempt to attack him and he, Berserker, kicked Lancer in the air before jumping toward him and brutally carried him to the remote forest area, thanks to Berserker's speed. They arrived less than a minute after Lancer kicked the antenna. Berserker, you, asterisk cough asterisk, Lancer said when he stood up, but he immediately coughed a little blood from his mouth, but he held onto his spear very well. Berserker looked at him silently, seemed calm, but I knew now that he had completely succumbed to the skill of mad enhancement, and the evidence for this is that the black smoke around it became more intense. Asterisk roar roar asterisk Berserker suddenly exploded and started uprooting trees and throwing them towards Lancer. Lancer evaded the first tree and used his red spear to destroy the other tree, while he jumped to evade the third tree, it seemed that he decided that he could not evade the volley of trees so he threw his yellow spear toward Berserker, perhaps because of skill or luck, but his spear widened a blind spot in his armor which caused a painful scream to get out of Berserker's mouth. Berserker was angry, he gave up throwing things towards Lancer and he jumped towards him and waved his fist, Lancer intercepted the Berserker's excessive fists by his spear, but apparently he started getting tired after several dozen blows. Lancer summoned his yellow spear to fly towards him, and judging from the corner, so to reach him he likes to pass through Lancelot's chest, but fortunately it seems that even in this raging state he still has some rule of self-preservation and jumped to get away by the spear. Now, with both spears back, it is assumed that the DR Muid can fully show his strength, and it seems that Lancelot has regained some of his lost rationality and brought out his sacred sword, Arondite. If you are a knight after all, I thought you are an empty armor, Lancer said sarcastically, even though blood is flowing through his mouth. The two knights began to fight, with Lancelot using his sword in an aggressive and raging manner, putting Lancer on the defensive. However, their fight lasted only a few minutes before one of Lancer's spears flew out of his hand causing an opening in his defense, seeing this, an expression of shock in the face of the Diarmuid was printed. Berserker stabbed his sword in the chest of Lancer, passing through his heart. Lancer coughed some blood and tried to speak, but no words came out of his mouth, after several seconds he disappeared. Your servant Berserker killed the DR Muid of the love spot, I gained 1.800,000 EXP. I smiled upon seeing the notice, but I looked at the endoscope towards Berserker and saw that he was about to enter yet another tantrum. Berserker, calm down, it is over. I said to him, but he did not respond to me, in fact, he started screaming, Berserker, do not lose the rest of your mind now, do not let me use another command seal. I saw that he started to calm down after I used my harsh tone, seeing this, I calmed down my feelings again, and decided that I don't need a berserker anymore. Lancelot was a knight, and the fact that he was a berserker must be an insult to him, after all, for knights who represent justice and honesty, losing his minds is worse than death. By the power of stamping these orders, Lancelot, kill yourself. I saw that he did not respond for a moment, but he held a rondite and stabbed his chest, unfortunately, there was no other way, or I was to let him fight Saber. You killed Lancelot, I gained 2,300,000 EXP. I have closed all notifications to focus in my reality. The other masters must have seen the battle, perhaps from a crystal ball or from a perspective like me, however, it is not as if I am satisfied with all this. 
Now, Lancer's master, Kaneth and his fiancée are still alive, maybe I should kill them but I decided not to do that, I do not like dirtying my hands except when I am forced, too, it seems that the Kaneth circuits were not damaged so much in this timeline, he may be able to treat them if he goes to the Atlas Academy. Of course, this depends on whether the alchemists of Atlas are ready to help him, Atlas' relationship with the clock tower is not very good. Through mental contact between me and Medea, I told her to take me back to the house, which is basically the Raya do Temple, well, we are the only ones we live in because Medea put everyone in a spell that governs the mind. She immediately transport me to the temple, apparently she had been waiting for me to give her notice a while ago, oh, that looks cute, even though I'm not used to someone taking care of me. I found myself in front of her, apparently she wanted to talk to me about something because she was staring at me silently. Hello. I told her while dictating my eyebrows, as I was a little bit wondering. Uh, welcome back, Victor, are you sure that Berserker's death was necessary? I mean, we could have easily kept it if you transferred the contract to me. I think we talked about this before, I said to her quietly, as long as we follow my plan, there will be no problem. She pouted a little, and you didn't tell me the plan completely, and every time I ask you about the possibility of our victory, you stay silent. I looked at her a little bit, Medea, I'll tell you a secret, but don't be angry, okay? She nodded her head, seeing this, I began explaining to her, the Holy Grail cannot grant wishes, it did not do so before, the original goal of which is to revive the third magic, Heaven's Fields, granting wishes was only a side effect, however, since the previous war in 1938 the Grail was contaminated by a servant, not an ordinary heroic spirit, also a vengeful spirit, so she can no longer grant wishes except that corrupt. Looking at her, she was very silent, throughout my speech, I was expecting that she would probably kill me, or break our contract with her rule breaker, but she was strangely calm. Is this the whole truth? She asked me while she was looking at the floor. Yes, you are, not angry. She sat in a nearby chair while she sighed in disappointment, no, Victor, I'm not angry, if there was nothing like that, it will be too good to be true. I kept silent, I do not know what to say for her sympathy, I just crushed her hope now, it must be like going down from heaven to hell. I didn't tell you what my wish is, right? She spoke to me even though she was not looking at me, I wanted to become a human, in this age where the influence of the gods is so limited, that they cannot harm me again. I'm sorry, Medea, I really am. Do not be. She said calmly, although her voice bore a certain strength, it is not like you caused this, is it? Do you want to hear my story? I shook my head and moved to her side and hugged her, I did not have a fossilized heart, although I may be cold sometimes, but I can still sympathize, I already know it, Medea. She hugged me, too, and it's great knowing that she wasn't aggressive towards me, otherwise I would have been forced to use other methods. You are very smart, Victor, but you are devilish too. The child should not be like this, but you are a little sympathetic as well, so I think it's okay. Do you still want to stay as my servant? And trust me. Of course, what is our next step? When she pushed me a little, she said to me, strange that she had not asked me anything, or asked me to explain. Let's just leave, let's go back to Germany. I told her, I was already planning to withdraw some additional lines but I gave up on it, as long as my caster would leave with me, the ritual would never be completed, and therefore there would be no danger, and also, I was able to get a nice increase in power. Saber, Gilgamesh and Ryder can kill each other, but that will not benefit them, and by a few weeks from now, we will already be in a media place where they will not be able to discover us, and also, I will be able to start learning magic media at that time, a magecraft of the age of gods. Although with the ritual failure it will be difficult to maintain media in this world, but as long as I can provide more energy, everything will be fine. Also, by my teenage age I can go to the clock tower where I will learn the modern magecraft. Okay, I'm going to amend the memories of the temple owners. Medea told me when I got up and went out. I sat in the chair while I decided to use this time to see my notifications. You have gained 1.800000 EXP. You have reached level 30. You can choose a new feature. You have reached level 40. You can choose a new feature. You have gained 2,300,000 EXP. You have reached level 49. Total statistical points, 80. You killed Diarmuid of the Love Spot, you can choose two skills and one noble phantasm. Skills. Magic resistance, B. Eye of the mind, true, B. Love spot, C. Noble phantasm. Gee bid, B. Gee dirge, B. 
This time, I didn't have to think because the options were clear, I chose magic resistance and the eye of the mind as skills, and for the noble phantasms I chose Gibid. Although the ability to cancel magic seems alluring, I prefer the ability to make wounds that will not heal. When I finished choosing, another window appeared. You killed Lancelot, you can choose two skills and one noble phantasm. Skills. Mad Enhancement, C. Eternal Arms Mastership, A+. Magic Resistance, D. Protection of the Fairies, A. Noble Phantasm. Arondite, A++. For Someone's Glory, B. Knight of Owner, A++. Now, it took me a while to think, I didn't need Magic Resistance of D rank because I had one better, while I didn't want Mad Enhancement because I didn't want to lose my rationality, which left me with only two options, Protection of the Fireys and Eternal Arms Mastership, who were the best in fact. As for Noble Phantom, I did not choose for someone glory because my fourth wall is much better, and I was not a knight or a swordman in particular so I did not choose an Arondite, on the other hand, it seems that the ability to transform any weapon I touch into a Noble Phantasm is amazing, so I chose Knight of Owner. Well, I'm ready now, Victor, my caster, which of Calcus Medea, told me after she finished removing her contact with the ley line in the temple. Our plan was simple, first we will take a commercial ship to China, then we will cross to Russia where we will take a ride to travel to Greece, before we go directly to Germany, where we will wait until my father passes the magic crest to me, and then we will go to the mountain in Greece where there is a Medea place. This was to be able to hide our way. When we came to Japan previously, Medea had control of some of the wealthy people who brought us here by their own plane. Also, Medea did not have an identity in the current era, so it might get into legal trouble. Also, we now have to go quickly, without the massive power supply from Ryudu Temple. Medea will not be able to use skills like elegant transportation us after that, but it will be able to maintain her other capabilities thanks to the large reserve of my Odi, Prana. Okay, Medea, let's go. I told her, she was now in civilian clothes, a grey jacket and blue pants, she looked like a foreign businesswoman, for the Japanese. We have already decided that there is no reason to kill Zoken Matu, since we have already completely treating Korea, he can try to kill him himself, he may be able to train hard for several years, and also, when we leave Fuyuki, my mission will complete and I will get 10 million EXP free because I was needed to kill just one servant. We immediately got out of the temple and passed through the commercial street full of civilians, after all, even if we were discovered now, no Magus would dare attack us in a place full of civilians, after nothing had passed there were still laws preventing the Maguses of the Magecraft to the outside world. When we passed through an electronics store, there was a working TV showing its newsletter covering the appearance of Berserker and Lancer in the public park several hours ago, until the presenter titled them as a mysterious warriors, because of this I might get into trouble later. Asterisk si asterisk I will be punished for this. Hmm, don't worry, the people mostly will forget this after some time, my servant told me as she touched my shoulder. I looked at her with a smile, as she was playing the role of my family more than my biological family, who despite living with them for a decade but Cynthia Von Doom and Warner Von Doom were more focused on their careers as a magus on their family lives, on the other hand Medea was treating me better, although I think it was because I was a kid. You know, Medea. After everything is done I would like to tell you something, I told her while I smiled at her. Oh, you're not going to tell me something like we're really not real and we're in a dream world, right? She told me jokingly. I laughed a little at her joke, but I suddenly froze, because one of my new skills, eye of the mind, true, had warned me. Is there something wrong with you? Said Medea when she noticed that I had been frozen for a moment, but I didn't let her continue her words, I immediately used magecraft of reinforcement to strengthen my body and push Medea away. At that exact moment a golden sword flying at a very high speed penetrated the place where Medea was standing, and because I was in her place now I was hit, luckily it was just scratched near my stomach and even though I started bleeding, none of it was damaged my organs. Ah. I suffered a little and closed the blood flow with my hand. Victor. Medea shouted, no, cast her when she saw that I was hurt and injured, and in a wave of light that covered her body her civilian clothes were transformed into a dark blue robe with a hood covering half of her upper face. She immediately ran to me and carried me and moved away from my previous position by jumping back. Now, I could see the one who attacked us, with blonde hair and a golden body armor, and a snobbish and arrogant smile on his face, Gilgamesh was standing on a nearby light pole while everyone looked down there as if nothing. At this point, civilians began to notice what was going on, a number of them began to flee, while the others remained and a few began to photograph and discuss. What happens here, why is this woman wearing which clothes? Do they making a movie? That sword penetrated the concrete floor. 
It looks very sharp. Victor. Don't be afraid. I'll treat you right now. Medea said to me when she used her healing magic on me and my wounds started closing quickly. That old worm is really right, you are Castor's master, Gilgamesh said. He seemed uninterested in the fact that Castor treated me, and he seemed to think that everything was under his control, in fact, he seemed to enjoy the fact that civilians were watching us, and he seemed to let Castor heal me only to serve his sadistic tendencies. I got out of a Castor load, and I pulled a dagger out of my inventory, I want you to control people to get them to move away from the area, and make sure to alter their memories. No, controlling a large number will consume a large amount of your prana, it is better to use it to escape, the probability of our victory being slim. I looked at her, taking advantage of the fact that Gilgamesh thought we were not so dangerous that he gave us time. It's alright, Medea, you can use whatever energy you want, while doing that, I'm distracting Archer. No, Victor. He is very strong, if. Castor starts talking, but I don't let her continue her words. Castor. I said sharply. Before I kindly finished, you can count on me. Castor remained silent before starting work. I looked at Gilgamesh before I closed my eyes and reopened them. Mystic Eyes of Death Perception Kid, don't be arrogant, you don't stand any chance in front of me, Gilgamesh said when he heard my words. And also, why do you care about some unimportant humans? Because you will kill them, they are innocent. I will not deny that I might kill them if they intercept my words, but... Gilgamesh said while smiling, do you think you can really stop me? At the moment I was firing at me a golden spear, perhaps at Mach 1, he might have underestimated me so he didn't fire his weapons at full speed. And this works perfectly for me, although I am a child but I am physically strong, and with the help of reinforcement magecraft and eye of the mind that gives me a futuristic vision of his movements, I can avoid his attacks despite its high speed. Not bad kid, but you are barely up to the level of the other mongrels, Gilgamesh said while three weapons appeared behind me and released them close to me, I tilted my body in such a way that I would cross between the weapons without touching me. Kyrie, since this is our farewell, I want you to know that you did well as an apprentice, for this, I have a gift for you. Tokiomi Tosaka said while sitting in the sofa, he was smiling, while talking to his temporary student, the son of the church judge Risei Kutamani, Kyrie Kutamani. Tokiomi carried a box and passed it towards Kerry who was sitting in the sofa in front of him, Kirii opened the box and saw a long decorated dagger. This is. Kerry said confusedly. Sort of a zuth, given that you were trained in the arts of the Tosaka family, I decided to give it to you, it is a special sword. I see, then, thank you, Tokiomi-sensei, Kirii said while accepting the gift. Since your role in this war is over, suppose you return to the church. It seems to be true. Kyrie said without showing any feelings on his face. By the way, where is Archer? Earlier, a visitor came up with important information about Castor's location, I sent him to kill him, Tokiomi answered as he stood up and started leaving. Halfway to the door, he turned again toward Kyrie and said before he turned again, by the way, communicates Risei my regards. Of course, Kyrie said, with a sadistic smile on his face, and he carried an azuth sword, approached Tokiomi silently, and stabbed his back. I dodged the sword that was hardly hitting me while I started panting, it was this twelfth round, this idiot continues to lay down his arms on me. Initially he was throwing it at the speed of sound only, but it started to increase its speed gradually, and now maybe he is throwing weapons at the speed of Mach 2, and the only reason I can continue currently is the increase in the strength of reinforcement and the mysterious effect of the original that makes me ignore fatigue. On the other hand, due to my misuse of reinforcement in addition to having to preserve media in its physical form and provide it with adequate manpower to wash the brains of civilians, in addition to defending it. I'm tired, and I hardly have any remaining mana, maybe I will die here, in fact, Gilgamesh could have killed me from the start but decided to play with me, he must be enjoying this, watching me suffer, if I could just get close enough to him he would have been dead long ago. Do you see? Mongrel, you will die here because of your stupidity, Gilgamesh said arrogantly when he saw that I'm tired. Oh. Why don't you go down here to see who will die because of his stupidity? I told him provocatively when I saw an opportunity. You want me, the king of heroes, to share the same earth with you? Gilgamesh frowned. Have you heard me, you stupid bitch? Or are you so afraid? You. He said angrily while veins appeared in his pill but he jumped to the ground, since you want death to this degree, do not blame me. He pulled a thin sword out of his store and began moving towards me with a cool expression on his face, seeing this, I cunningly smiled and used a knight of owner on my dagger which gave him a dark appearance, and he temporarily became a noble phantasm able to harm the servants. 
I used some of my remaining magical energy to reinforce the reinforcement magecraft again and rushed to Gilgamesh who was not aware of the danger he was in. I was aiming to cut a death line in his neck, which would cause him to die in one fell swoop, when my dagger was about to touch him. He seemed to feel the danger so he avoided my attack, though, my knife still had cut the death line in his left shoulder armor, causing and destroying it. Gilgamesh was surprised and quickly turned back, this. I see. He smiled as he inserted his sword as well as the other weapons into the Babylon gate again while placing another shoulder armor, mystical eyes, interesting, in my time only the gods have something like that, and judging the effect of your eyes on my arm armor, I suppose they are not weak. I kept silent on me while he was talking, damn it, how could I not have hit him, had he given me time before to distribute my points the result would have been different, I do not want death, I will not die. While I was thinking about a solution, he took out a bow and an arrow and fired at me, this bow is very fast and that through the eye of the mind I assume that it will strike my heart directly and kill me, the arrow was very fast and I may not be able to avoid it, especially in my case weak now, however, I tilted my body slightly so that the arrow did not hit my heart, but it still penetrated one of my lungs and came out of my back. Asterisk cough cough asterisk, I coughed up blood while I ignored the pain coming from my wound and bleeding, I don't know how Shiro managed to defeat him, that's just nonsense. Really interesting. Gilgamesh said as he approached me and carried me from my neck. Although he choked me a little, I barely cared, and my vision began to fog and I was about to lose consciousness, no. I cannot surrender now, I have to stay determined. I pulled my hand over the dagger and reactivated my mystic eyes of death perception and tried to stab death lines in his head, but I was very slow and he grabbed my hand. I like that, kid, he said to me with a smile, what do you think of a bargain? You beg me to let you become my follower and I'll consider not killing you. I looked at him angrily, I wanted to insult him, even if that meant my death, I would not beg someone else, especially him, and of course I wouldn't become a follower of him, but the fatigue and blood loss began to overcome me and I started struggling to stay awake. Mana shots were fired towards Gilgamesh from the side, possibly because of his clairvoyant as he avoided them, however he was hit afterwards when he turned away from me. Medea quickly approached me and grabbed me and started running in the opposite direction while at the same time she started healing my injuries. However, she also summoned a number of dragon tooth warriors to slow Gilgamesh. Stay with me, Victor, please, don't close your eyes, she said to me kindly, but I feel as if she is begging me. I brought back some focus to my eyes, just to see that she was looking at me with begging in her eyes, I don't know why, but I suddenly felt the urge to rest her, I'm fine, Medea. You are not like that. Victor, you are suffering from exhaustion in prana and there is a hole in your chest, and you are tired for a long time and yet you kept fighting, why didn't you use the Trogo's necklace to escape? Don't be stupid. I said to her quietly while I let her heal me. She must be using her own magical energy now, if I escape he would have killed you, you are his target from the beginning. I picked up the necklace from my neck and put it on her, hey, can you teleport us both using it? She looked at me with guilt in her eye. Victor, this necklace is for saving only one person, not two. Jump to the side. I told her quickly and it seemed that she understood me, and in the place where we were he was hit with a golden sword. At a distance, Archer, Gilgamesh, was following us, why not just leave us? Medea, use the necklace to return to Ryudul, I said to her quietly. No, Victor, what about you? You are still a child, I cannot allow your death here. She said to me as her speed increased again, at this rate she would quickly drain her strength and fade away. No, I cannot allow this. Castor, don't force me to use the command seal. She looked at me for a moment, usually when I address her sharply, she does not disobey me, but now she only smiles at me. Victor, you know, you are a cruel, serious, and ruthless child. Nevertheless, you are not evil, you are so good, that you prefer to spend a command seal in contemplation that a few people are not harmed because of Lancer and Berserker, and that you asked me to save other people while you know it's possible to lose if we did that, then instead of saving yourself you chose to guard my back, I. Castor, do you dare disobey me? I told her sharply again, why don't she just listen to me? As long as she returns to the Ryudu temple she can keep herself from being scattered, while I can pull out something to make sure I won't die, maybe I can escape if I'm lucky. Victor, you may not have noticed this, but you are the most important person to me, you are the one who summoned me and the only person I know of this era, and you are also my master, spoiled child. She told me while you put me on the ground and turned around and formed a magic shield to stop Gilgamesh weapons, in normal cases they could not do that, especially since Gilgamesh began to use their maximum speed, but her shield was able to stop them, this is evidence that she uses a very large amount of mana. I removed the glove from my left hand, Castor. 
using this command seal, I order you. Before I could complete my words she threw the Trogo's necklace towards me, the moment that the necklace touched my clothes I was taken from the area. When I found myself in a dark alley, I was surprised for a second before realizing what happened, and I immediately resumed what I was doing, how my servant could be really stupid. Caster, with the power of the command seal, I order you to. Your servant, the witch of betrayal Medea, is dead, you got zero exp. To come to, here. I stared at the notice that appeared to me with wide eyes, and I did not find what to say. She died? Medea just died like this? This fast? For some reason, I was feeling pain in my heart and this is not because the wound was not completely treated, it was on the emotional level. I began to remember my memories with her, only 15 days, it was never long, but she was always kind to me, cared about me, and did anything I wanted, although she was not good at cooking, but I would not deny that I had fun when eating it, as she gave me gift. Thanks to the eidetic memory and librarian of stored knowledge memories have flowed even if I didn't want them, in this life, I became a material person, and although I cared for some other people, Medea awoke an emotional side of me. I love her, she was beautiful, kind and affectionate and was doing her best to help me and she trusted me so much, that she forgave me because I hid the fact that the grail does not fulfill wishes, even she sacrificed her life for someone like me. Medea. I said as tears started to flow from my eyes, I punched the wall, causing a small crack in it. Gilgamesh, you will regret this, and you will pay dearly, you must die. I immediately opened my state and thought about distributing points, I will return there, I will find Gilgamesh and I will kill him once and for all. I immediately stopped myself, currently I am mentally and physically tired, and I am still injured, and I am gradually losing consciousness, and do not forget that I am dry from mana, to go towards Gilgamesh will earn me certain death, especially if he use yay. Also, death will be a quick getaway for him. He killed a person I love. He must suffer. In a moment of revelation I knew what I jade to do, I have to make him desperate, then give him hope, only to crush him again, and then I have to break his body first, before I broke his mind too, and in the end he would become the true mongrel, it would become something he disliked, and until that time all he waits for is constant torture of eternity. But even this will prove to be a challenge, and even by distributing my points I will not be able to defeat him when he becomes very serious, I may have to wait a long time, but revenge is a meal placed on a cold plate. This was not supposed to happen, it was assumed that with everything different, we were supposed to get our happy ending, all this because of them, and I will make sure they all will regret, I have previously tried to do only my work here and I leave them all, even I tried to make sure that no one dies, regardless of Berserker and Lancer, the only human I have killed is Rhinuski. Gilgamesh said something about an old worm, it must be Zokan Matu, that bastard, he must be the reason why Gilgamesh came, I was planning to spare his life, but since he is determined to force my hand, he cannot blame me for killing some worms. There is also Tokiomi, after all he is the person who summoned Gilgamesh, and I do not like the fact that he abandoned his daughter despite knowing the methods of the Matu family, then there is his wife, only because she is his wife and because she did not bother to check on her daughter, I will not kill her after all, she has nothing to do with it. Then there is Bayakuya, son of Zokan. Since everyone insists on challenging me, I can only show them what I, Victor Von Doom, is made of. I sighed deep and wiped tears from my eyes and tried to calm the anger inside me, Medea did not go completely, I can summon her again, she may not remember what happened here, but she is not a different person, she will be the same person, although I must wait ten whole years or, try to figure out a way to summon heroic spirits. I also have to make sure that everything happens as it is supposed to happen, or else I will have to wait sixty years. At this moment a new window appeared in front of me. A new mission, Lost Love. Description the girl you love, Medea, has been killed by the king of heroes Gilgamesh, you have to take back your love, and maybe get your good revenge too. Goal, to return your love one way or another. Reward, 500,000 EXP, random NP. I looked at the new task for a long time before waving to make the window disappear, I didn't need a task to do something I wanted to do, no, I needed to do that, at this moment a new window appeared. Because of your contract with the Witch of Betrayal Medea, you can choose two skills and one noble phantasm. Skills. Item construction, A. Territory creation, A. High speed divine words, A. Golden fleece, EX. Noble phantasm. Rule breaker, C. Argon coin, N slash A. I looked at the notice for a moment before I thought about ignoring it, but I rethinked, although it leaves a taste in my mouth, but I will need these skills in the long run in order to achieve my goal. 
I immediately chose item construction, high speed divine words and rule breaker, although territory creation is also a good skill but I don't see any benefit from it in the long run, especially since I can learn it later, while golden fleece and argon coin is useless, if Medea could use them, she would have been the third strongest servant in this war. Also, item creation will be very useful because I will take Medea knowledge of making mystic codes and NP, which will help me a lot. I carried the necklace that Medea gave me as a gift and looked at the golden heart before putting it on me. Aoi Tosaka closed the door of her daughter's room, Rin Tosaka, after making sure she was really sleeping, she was thirsty now so she got down to the first floor of the house where there is the kitchen and drank a glass of tap water. Recently, she really began to miss her husband, Tokiomi Tosaka, of course she was not satisfied with the fact that her husband abandoned her youngest daughter, Sakura, to the Mato family, but as a loyal wife she must trust her husband and agree to his decisions. However, they were away for a whole two weeks, and she started to get upset a little, after all the woman has her needs. When she thinks about Sakura again, she tries to remind herself that she is no longer her daughter, she has become Sakura Mato, she also remembered her childhood friend, Kuriya Mato, had not seen him for more than a year when he told her that he would return Sakura, she has no doubt that he will try he and her two daughters have always been so close, but she doesn't think he's strong enough to do that. There was a small part of it that he really hoped to do, but another large part hoped that it would fail, even if that meant his death, after all even if Sakura returns, she has no place in the Tosaka family. She hated this, but it's the truth. Asterisk ringing ringing asterisk. The doorbell drew her attention, I wondered who might come at this time because little was known about their temporary stay in this home, and despite her wondering, she almost immediately went to see the visitor. She opened the door slowly, only to see a black-haired child with dark green and bright eyes, he would look good, if the fact that his clothes were a little torn and dirty was ignored, and that there were a number of blood stains hidden in his black shirt, while she was noticed that there is what appears to be a bullet hole in his chest and that he seems to have a verdict that there is a bandage in that place. The most interesting thing is the golden necklace around his neck that has a heart. Shaped ornament, it looks like a kind of gift that children give each other to show their love. When looking at him, he was calm, although his eyes showed hidden anger, and also, great determination. Greeting. The foreign boy said and inserted himself into the house without an invitation, so that he passed through Aoi as if it did not exist. When he crossed several meters inside, he turned to face Aoi, who immediately became a little worried, perhaps because of his appearance or because of something else, but she was a little scared. Who are you, kid? Please, the boy said calmly, you can call me Victor. What do you want? Because of the way the child spoke, her fear increased a little, the door was still open and she could escape at any time, but she would not dare to do so. Not because she did not think this child was dangerous, although she was just an ordinary person but she was aware that appearances were deceptive because she was Magus's wife, the reason why she would not run away is that her daughter is still here. Now, close the door behind you and move forward. We don't want to make it turn ugly, don't we? Victor said with a smile on his face and winked towards her. Aoi froze in place, she realized there was something wrong with this boy but the fear was not the reason for her freezing, it was another thing, and she felt like a part of his character that forced her to submit to his will, but for some reason she was sure that he was not a magecraft. Aoi looked at him for a few seconds before closing the door and followed him to the living room. This was my origin, determination, and because your will was less than mine, it was making you submit very easy, Victor said as he sat on the sofa. What do you want? In fact, the first thing I want is to talk a little bit, where do I start, yes, do you know what is happening to your daughter in the Mato family? Victor asked her while his smile disappeared. I know, she is the current heiress. Of course she is. If you mean that she is repeatedly raped by worms every day, yes, she is the heir, said Victor while sighing with disappointment. What? This is not possible. From. Aoi's tone began to become a little aggressive. Do you want to wake Rin? She must be sleeping now, said Victor interrupting Aoi, hearing that she immediately realized Victor's intention. You may have already realized this, but I went through a terrible day, and nevertheless let's go back to the story, I'm one of the participants in the Holy Grail War, and Castor's master. Why are you saying this to me? Aoi frightenedly said, this time for her justified fear, of what Tokiomi said to her the war was no joke. It is simple, you know, my planning skills are not a good thing, so I gave up trying to intelligently defeat others, and it is time to use force, and also, you will not remember anything anyway, now, back to the topic. Victor calmly told her. Truth is said, despite his calmness, but there is a glimpse of madness in his eyes, as if he had entered a situation where he no longer cares about anything. 
Your husband's servant killed my servant, and frankly, I am not happy, and although I will not enjoy this, you cannot blame me for what I will do with you, Mrs. Aoi, at least I will not kill you. Ryder and Waver Velvet sat in the garden, while Waver was wearing his usual clothes, Ryder, Alexander the Great, was wearing blue jeans with a shirt with the earth map on his chest. Oh, why is he so late? Wasn't he the one calling us here? Waver grumbled while putting his head back. He looked at Alexander the Great and asked him, Hey, Ryder, what do you think he wants? Stop grumbling like that, you embarrass me. As for your question, I don't know, Ryder said humorously. But since Berserkerer is already dead, I don't think there's any reason to really worry. So, do you have an explanation for why he is late? Ryder looked at his master from the side of his eyes, when arranging a meeting of some kind between two people who are not friends, the inviting part is late in order to make sure that the other side is not planning anything. Oh. He came. Waver said suddenly when he noticed that the boy named Victor was approaching from a distance. They waited silently until Victor arrived near them, when Ryder, Alexander the Great, cordially greeted him, Hey, kid. Victor looked at him frowning, he opened his mouth to speak before closing it, and he turned around Waver. Victor pulled a paper out of his pocket before giving it to Waver, this is for you. Wafer took the paper with suspicion before looking at its contents with the shock of, this. Oh, let me see. Alexander said before taking the paper from the hand of his master. This. Ryder's expression turned to seriousness before looking at Victor, are you sure? This is Archer information, Gilgamesh. You do not need to thank me. So, why did you give us this? Alexander seriously asked. Currently, only you, Archer, and Saber are left, maybe everything will end today, and between you and Saber, you have the greatest chance to win. Victor said with a smile before looking at the side, there is in a distance, there were some lights in the sky, it seems that this is your call. Alexander looked a moment at Victor before turning around his master, well, what do you want to do? Waver looked to the ground for a second, Ryder, you must fight. Yes. Alexander the Great smiled before taking out his sword, and with a thunderbolt hitting the empty park, he wore his servant's clothes, and summoned his cart. Are you coming, master? Alexander said before he answered him, yes. Victor saw them with a frown when they left. Happy Death Day, King of the Conquerors. I sneaked into the Mato family palace by using my presence concealment, at its current A plus level, even servants will have trouble finding me while I'm in an stealth mode, let alone Magus from the modern era. I quietly sneaked into what I suppose was the Sakura Mato room, former Sakura Tosaka. I quietly opened the door just to see that she was, apparently, quietly asleep, and I went beside her and shook her to wake her up. She woke up and rubbed her eyes a little before she realized I was in front of her. She looked at me with eyes free of life even though she seemed worried, who are you? Don't worry, I smiled, I had to relax her a little. I'm here to get you out of here, Sakura, your uncle sent me. Korea Ajizan did? Yes, now, so come with me. I told her while she held her hand and tried to pull it gently. No. She told me hard, Grandpa won't let this happen, you have to run quickly. In that case. I left her hand and smiled at her again. Just wait here a little bit, okay? I'll be back right away. Okay. She looked at me a little before nodding, I removed the smile from my face and entered the presence concealment again, this skill resembles to stealth, although if I used it in front of someone he could still notice me, and if I try to attack and I am in it. The skill level is dropping dramatically, which causes my enemy to discover where I am. Originally, I was not planning to kill Zokan today, because I remember that he was reported to have planted worms containing a tip of his soul inside Sakura with the Dark Grail, and even though I knew that he had not planted the Grail inside Sakura yet I didn't want to take the risk, and but since the little girl does not want to leave with me to meet her uncle, I may also kill him. It may be difficult to kill Zokan in one fight against one because his body is made of worms, but I believe that killing him is possible if I cut the death lines associated with his brain. I sneaked across the palace and ignored the fact that I saw some residents with blue hair, and I went straight to the place where Zokan might be, his office. It was devoid of people. I ignored the sound of the many clocks and I stood in the right corner for the assassination. After about ten minutes of waiting, a hidden door was opened that gave him an hour and a bald old man, who had a short, curved back, with a pale blue-black skin, and although he looked and died at any moment, his eyes showed a strong spirit. This thin was Zokan Matul, it was not appropriate to call him Makiri Zaljan since everything that makes up him has long since disappeared. 
Looking at him now, it is hard to believe that it was said that at his peak he possessed a power similar to that of servants, maybe he will reach the throne of heroes when I kill him. While I walked with silent steps and slowing heartbeat, my unnoticeable presence in a presence concealment, I strengthened my body with reinforcement magecraft and used the knight of owner on my dagger before I quickly cut the death lines attached to his head. You killed Makiri Zaljan, you got 600,000 EXP. You have reached level 50. I looked at the notice quietly, it seemed that this unholy thing had not yet sown its soul in any other human, but this does not mean that I should not burn the worms in the basement, in addition to every adult in the building, and maybe stealing all the books and knowledge Zokans gather in all of the 500 of his life. I will save Shinji, because he's a kid and although he will grow up to be a dick and douchebag, I believe Korea will be able to raise him and Sakura better. Speaking of Korea, his vitality has been greatly depleted, presumably he will die before reaching the age of 50, it is sarcastic that the world punish the best and good people and give rewards to the bad ones. I used the words of a spell of fire in a low voice and launched it towards the body of Zokan, which started to turn into a group of worms. After killing Zokan and the adult Matu family members, I took all the magic books that Zokan Matu had in his secret room, which is a number of hundreds of books, in addition to that I found some catalysts, such as a party of Boudicca clothes, and a piece of Lancelot armor in addition to the Book of the False Attendant, which can act as a type of command seals, in addition to the notes of Makiri Zaljan himself. I also burned the sea of worms in the basement, and I inserted the bodies of the Matu family in my inventory, as a necromancer, these things will come to the hand later. As for Shinji, I left him asleep, after all it would not be appropriate to let a six-year-old know that all members of his family had been killed, I do not want to make Shinji get red eyes with breaks. As for the little Sakura, I rested her and told her that everything was going to be okay. I hope the worms haven't taken her virginity yet. I heard that the worms have some serious diseases. I went to the front door of the palace and opened it to see the person who knocked on the door, Korea Matu, because I called him before, his hair was white, while he had what seemed to be a scar on his left face skin, but he seemed healthier since the last time I saw him and what he can walk normally and no longer cough up blood every minute. Victor. Korea enthusiastically entered, is that right? You killed him. Yes, I calmly replied. Sakura is in her room, you can check on her, and Korea, can you be quieter? I'm sorry, I'm just, very happy. He looked at me silently for a few moments before telling me sincerely, about Castor, I'm really sorry. There is nothing to be sorry. I told him while stressing my voice, her death was not because of you, I would be grateful if you hadn't spoken about this again. So dash, he was about to speak, but I spoke before him, you're a really good person, Korea. What do you mean? He surprisedly asked. You know that no one will sacrifice both his life and health in order to save a little girl from her miserable fate, if it wasn't for me, you would be dead now. I think I'm lucky that you are here, he said with a smile, so what is going to happen now? I sighed a little and went to look through the window that overlooks the city, since you were the last surviving Matu, all of the magical family inheritance and custody of Sakura and Shinji are passed on to you, I hope you raise them well. No, I mean, what will you do? I looked at it from the corner of my eyes, for me, I think I will go home, and maybe complete my studies in magecraft. I see. Korea said calmly, so this is the farewell. It shouldn't be, I looked at him with a slight smile, you own my number, and it will not be the last time I come to Japan. Before he could speak, we heard the sound of an explosion from the outside. From our current location, the sound sounded far and light, Korea came immediately to look from the window with me, what is this? I looked at the city with the fire, it is the end of the Holy Grail War, nobody win. Korea looked at the window in awe, speaking calmly as I took my way out, see you later, Korea. I did not wait, I answered him and went out of the door and closed the door behind me, after that I searched around until I found a suitable hill to see the scene of Fuyuki's burning, not because I had a sadistic tendency, but because I just wanted to remind myself that this war is over, and now I have 10 years to prepare for the next war, and, maybe I should collect the pieces of the destroyed part of the grail, I can create a lesser grail. While I was quietly pondering the scene in my heart, I saw my new notifications. You finished the main mission, the 4th Fuyuki Holy Grail War. The main mission, the 4th Fuyuki Holy Grail War. Description, 7 Magus summon 7 servants to fight to the death in order to claim the Holy Grail, now all the masters have arrived in Fuyuki, and you are one of them. Objective, as a master in this war, you must at least kill one servant or master. Rating, very good. Basic reward, 10 million EXP. Bonus reward, opening mount feature, Gigantosaurus. You have reached level 68. Total statistical points, 118. 
you can choose six perks. You gained a new title, Survivor. Survivor, increase your chances of surviving deadly or serious wounds by 10%. I looked at the list with a little shock, my new address might appear to be more useful in the future, but the new job is what interests me, and the fact that I got what appears to be an extinct dinosaur thousands of years ago, I thought of calling it now but I decided to wait until later. I opened my statistics and distributed a few of my points. Previously, I wanted to save them in order to put them all in the spirit because I would need a crazy amount of mana to preserve the media, but now I decided to put them in, after thinking a little bit I distributed a total of 35 points. Name, Victor Von Doom. Level, 68. Title, Survivor. Strength, 10.5. Body, 10.6. Agility, 10.9. Mind, 3.1. Spirit, 25.4. Statistical points, 83. Number of circuits, 20. Circuit quality, A++++. Capacity, 20 times 250 is equal to 5000. Composition, dynamic. Origin, determination. Elements, fire, ether, time, space. Sorcery trait, none. Skills, observation, magecraft C, rapid reflexes C, mystic eyes of death perception A, psychology A, Marksmanship D, Present Concealment A+, Librarian of Stored Knowledge C, Magic Resistance B, Eye of the Mind, True, Eternal Arms Mastership A+, Protection of the Fairies A, High Speed Divine Words A, Item Construction A. Perks, Fourth Wall, Eidetic Memory. NP, Kazikli Bay, B, Zabaniya, Delusional Illusion, B+, Gibid, B, Knight of Owner, A++, Rule Breaker, C, Dot. I evenly distributed my points between Strength, body and agility and connected them to what seemed to be the minimum level of servants, rank E, I can raise them more but I still want to try to increase my body strength by training before that. As for the mind, with statistics over three times the number of people, I think I am smart enough, after all, increasing statistics causes a physical change, and since the mind controls the ratio of brain cell activity and effectiveness, it may cause this statistic to grow to the size of my skull. As for the spirit, since I last became almost certain of its effects, it not only strengthens my circuits and increases my prana amplitude, it also increases my affinity with the elements and increases my origin strength, and increases my magic effectiveness and my talent in learning magic. Also, I now have 5000 OD, by virtue of the fact that Rin has only 1000, and Arturia has dragon blood it has only 1500, and the average Magus possesses 450, I am now a pit of energy, and do not forget that my resistance increased too, maybe even Medea you will find difficulty controlling my body. Now it's time for perks, I can choose up to 6, and I believe there are some things that can help me. Perks. Mental interference, get basic capabilities in both telepathy and mental mobility. Fast learner, increase the speed of learning new skills and information and training old skills by 100%. Infinite potential, remove all of your physical limits. The unequal exchange, when you make something with magecraft, the world will not try to remove it. Gamer's luck, decrease the chance of bad things happening to you by 5%, and increase your chances of good things going by 5%. The third eye, having a third eye on your forehead gives you a certain level of foresight and an increase in perception. Black Belt, increase the speed of learning Western and Eastern martial arts. Strong, 1 plus in strength, body and agility. Ladies Killer, increase the attractiveness of the opposite sex to you, increase the damage against women by 10%. Anabolic Resistance, increases the body's resistance to radioactive substances and toxins significantly. I looked at the list for a moment and removed all perks from the low or selfless level, in the end I ended up choosing both the luck of the players, the unequal exchange, the infinite possibilities, fast learner, the mental interference and the anabolic resistance. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later bye bye.